Palantir Technologies, Inc. is a public American company that specializes in software platforms for big data analytics. It is headquartered in Denver, Colorado, and was founded in 2003 by Peter Thiel, Nathan Geddings, Joe Lonsdale, Stephen Cohen, and Alex Karp. The company's name is inspired by the Palantiri from The Lord of the Rings, which were magical seeing stones used for communication and viewing distant events. Main projects. Palantir has three primary software platforms. Palantir Gotham, used by intelligence and defense organizations, including the U.S. intelligence community and the Department of Defense, for counterterrorism and military operations. Palantir Foundry, a data integration and analysis platform used by corporate clients such as Morgan Stanley, Merck KGAA, Airbus, and Fiat Chrysler Automobiles. Palantir Apollo, facilitates continuous integration and continuous delivery, CICD, across various environments. Client base. Initially, Palantir's clients were primarily federal agencies in the U.S., but the company has since expanded to serve international, state, and local governments, as well as private corporations. Notably, Palantir has been involved in supporting COVID-19 efforts through its foundry platform and developed Tiberius, a software for vaccine allocation in the U.S. Financial and market information. Palantir went public on the New York Stock Exchange through a direct public offering on September 30th, 2020, under the ticker symbol PLTR. The company has also been actively investing in special purpose acquisition companies, SPACs, with investments totaling over $400 million. Palantir Technologies primarily serves several key industries, including National Security and Defense. Palantir software is extensively used by defense and intelligence agencies, such as the U.S. intelligence community and the Department of Defense, for counterterrorism, cyber operations, and defense logistics. Healthcare. The company provides data integration and analysis solutions for healthcare organizations, improving healthcare infrastructure and operations. Energy. Palantir serves the energy sector, helping companies manage and analyze large data sets to optimize operations. Finance. Financial institutions use Palantir's platforms for data analysis and integration to enhance decision-making and operational efficiency. Manufacturing. Palantir software aids. Manufacturing companies in integrating and analyzing data to streamline production processes and improve efficiency. These industries benefit from Palantir's ability to handle large and complex data sets, enabling organizations to make more informed decisions. The future of Palantir Technologies appears to be influenced by several key factors and opportunities. Integration of AI Technologies Palantir's long-term success is expected to hinge on its ability to integrate large language models, LLMs, and other generative AI technologies into its existing data analytics solutions. This integration is crucial as the AI market continues to expand, driven by the demand for data-driven decision-making tools. Government and Defense Contracts The company's government business is poised for growth due to increasing geopolitical tensions and the demand for automation in defense. Palantir has secured significant contracts with the U.S. Department of Defense, such as a $480 million deal for the Maven Smart System, which uses AI for military applications. Defense contracting is likely to become a more significant part of Palantir's business, providing a stable revenue stream amid global uncertainties. Commercial Sector Challenges While Palantir has seen growth in its commercial revenue, the sector remains highly competitive. Rivals like Snowflake and Microsoft's Fabric offer similar data analytics solutions, potentially impacting Palantir's market share. Palantir Technologies and Microsoft have expanded their partnership to enhance analytics and AI services for U.S. defense and intelligence operations. This collaboration leverages Microsoft's government and classified cloud environments, integrating Microsoft's large language models, LLMs, via Azure OpenAI service with Palantir's suite of products, including Foundry, Gotham, Apollo, and the AI platform, AIP. Key Aspects of the Partnership Integration of Technologies The partnership combines Microsoft's cloud computing and AI capabilities with Palantir's data integration and operational platforms. This integration aims to provide advanced AI-driven solutions for national security missions, enabling efficient logistics, contracting, and strategic planning. Deployment in Secure Environments Palantir's products will be deployed on Microsoft's Azure Government and Azure Government Secret and Top Secret Clouds, offering secure and accredited environments for critical defense and intelligence operations. Focus on AI innovations. The collaboration emphasizes the responsible deployment of AI technologies, with Palantir adopting Microsoft's OpenAI capabilities to enhance its AI innovations for national security. Market impact. Following the announcement, Palantir's shares increased, reflecting investor confidence in the strategic partnership. The collaboration is expected to boost Palantir's revenue, particularly from U.S. government contracts. Palantir Technologies, Inc., Asha PLTR, has been a subject of interest among investors, particularly following its recent earnings reports and market performance. Here's an analysis based on the latest data. Market Capitalization The company has a market cap of about $67.21 billion. 
Revenue and Earnings For the trailing 12 months, TTM, Palantir reported revenues of $2.48 billion and a net income of $454 million. The earnings per share, EPS, stands at 0.17, with a price-to-earnings P.E. ratio of 177.11, indicating high valuations relative to earnings. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets Consensus rating. Analysts have a consensus rating of hold for Palantir stock. This reflects a cautious outlook, with some analysts recommending to hold rather than buy or sell. Price targets. The average 12-month price target among 14 analysts is $23.29, suggesting a potential downside of approximately 22.39% from the current price. The targets range from a low of $9.00 to a high of $35.00, indicating a wide disparity in analyst expectations. Profitability achievement. The company achieved gay P profitability in 2023 and has posted net profits for six consecutive quarters. In Q1 2024, Palantir reported a record $81 million in GAAP operating income. Market sentiment and analyst outlook. Positive analyst ratings, such as Bank of America Securities buy rating with a $28 price target, contribute to investor confidence. The stock's potential inclusion in the S&P 500 index has also generated positive market sentiment. Expansion in commercial sector. U.S. commercial sales increased by 40% year-over-year in Q1 2024, indicating strong growth in this sector. These factors collectively contribute to Palantir's stock growth, driven by its financial performance, strategic positioning in the AI market, and expanding customer base across both government and commercial sectors.